Hey guys, Blastoise Rules here. I'm gonna have another video game pickup video here. These didn't actually come from Legacy's cards because he's a card seller, but check him out. Tell him I referred you. If you do, I can get some free booster packs. The more people I get, so for every hundred points, I get a free booster pack. So who knows, maybe I'll put some more awesome stuff. Um, he's actually taking pre-orders for Plasma Free starting next week, so make sure to get in on that. But, to the video games. I already went through that stuff over there, so I've got to go through this, that, and that. Might have to do two more videos for this, but, um, start with PS1. We got boxing. Complete. The hinges busted. It was 50 cents. Rainbow Six Vegas. Or Rainbow Six Tom Clancy's. It was 50 cents. Cool Borders 3 was 50 cents. If you notice the, uh, the dollar on it, it's because it's buy one, get one free. So it was 50 cents. Tetris Plus was 50 cents, but uh, the instruction manual is kind of faded. Still an easy sale, though. Kickboxing was 50 cents. Some of these games I already had, some I didn't. So some of them will be for sale. NCAA Game Breaker 2001 was 50 cents. We got Tomb Raider. It's just in a, a CD case. There's no manual, no artwork, nothing. It's 50 cents. A Bug's Life was 50 cents. I'm starting to wonder if there's a black label of this game because I don't think I have it. And I don't think I've ever seen it. Like, every copy of this game that I have, I think, is greatest hits. <clears throat> but that was 50 cents. We got Tomb Raider 2. It's 50 cents. Obviously, the ones that I'm selling, I'm not selling them anywhere near what I paid for them. Like... All these Tomb Raider games, they're for sale, but they're like five bucks each or something. Somewhere around there. <clears throat> Tomb Raider 3. 50 cents, no manual. Tomb Raider The Rast Last Revelation, same thing, no manual. It was 50 cents. <clears throat> Rocket Power, no manual, was 50 cents. Tomb Raider Chronicles was a dollar. It's complete. <clears throat> Spin Jam. I know I didn't didn't have this one. It was a dollar. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping that. I don't think I had this Barbie game either. Barbie Race and Ride. It was a dollar. Gotta say, it's probably one of the stupidest games ever, but I don't have it, so I'll be keeping it. And the disc is mint anyways, which is nice. Some of these are mint, some aren't. When it comes to me selling games, if they're mint, they're going to obviously be more expensive too. I base prices off of eBay. They're not always 100% matched with eBay though. It depends on condition that I go by. Um, stuff like that. But I do accept trades. So any games that I have that I'm willing to trade, um, I'll trade for any Super Nintendo, original Nintendo, Game Boy of any sort, or uh, PS1, or N64 games that I'm missing currently. Plus there's like some specific PS2 titles and stuff that I trade for too, in GameCube. But we've got the Emperor's New Groove. It was two bucks. Don't have that, so that's in my collection. 
You got Rayman. Was two bucks. If you don't have this game, get it. It's amazing. It's easily like ten bucks almost on eBay. So hit me up if you're interested, because I don't need another copy. I probably got like three extra of these now. A couple of copies of Twisted Metal. My PS1, both greatest hits. It was 250. And here's another one. Has a crack in the case. And actually the hinges busted, but that was 250 also. Something that I'm really happy to find any Resident Evil game. <clears throat> I have them all, but I'm always looking for duplicates of them for my collection. My favorite game series in the entire world, so I want as many of these as possible. So I'll never sell a Resident Evil game. <laughs> But we got Director's Cut. I think it was like four bucks or something. Disc has been resurfaced. Looks pretty damn nice. Probably give it a seven out of a ten for condition. Um, has some cracks in the cases though, which sucks. Another pretty sweet find. Well, same with the next two also. Dragon Valor. Pretty sure this is an RPG. Um, has some cracks in the cases, but I can switch it out for one of my crappier conditioned ones for my collection. Disc one. And... Disc two. No manuals, sadly, which sucks. Um, manuals are harder to find on the RPG type games, but a great deal. That was like four bucks, I think. And then I got two copies of Spiral Year of the Dragon. These were four bucks each. Easy resellable for 15, 20 bucks each. I needed one of these for my collection. I don't know if it was the Greatest Hits or the Black Label. Because I collect both Black Label and Greatest Hits and Collector's Edition is all separate. But the other one's for sale. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to get into a few PSP games I picked up. We got Aedis Eclipse, Generation of Chaos. RPG, tactical RPG, whatever you want to call it. Looking very forward to playing these. That was only two bucks. That's a ten dollar game on eBay. We got Gangs of London. It's two fifty. I like these kind of games also, shooters and stuff. So. <clears throat> Look forward to playing that also. And then we got Gun Gundy. Yeah, Gundy. Um, this game's actually really cheap. You can buy it sealed on eBay for like six dollars, but I paid like a buck fifty, a buck for it, whatever. Looks interesting. Sort of like a puzzle game. <clears throat> but on top of that I got a DS game Asphalt Urban GT don't remember this price off the top of my head but it, <clears throat> my guess is that it was somewhere near the like $2 range or something <clears throat> I already bought a cart off him but now I have a case and manual so I have a complete copy so my cart only will be for sale Next, pick up two games for the Wii. Calvin Tucker's Redneck Jamboree. It was cheap. I think it was like two fifty. Looks funny as hell. <clears throat> and 
And lastly for this video, I got Knight's Journey of Dreams. Have a few of these. It was a dollar fifty. Really, really good game actually. Don't know why it's so damn cheap. But um, that was my video game pickups episode forty. I don't know, forty-five. Um, I've got two stacks left, this one and this small one here. I'm going to do those in another video because my memory card won't last and I don't want to make a 20 minute video. But um, thanks for watching. Please check out Legacy Cards if you're interested in pre-ordering Plasma Freeze booster packs. He also has Plasma Storm booster packs and some a few boxes of Boundaries Crossed left. You sell them for $250. Two dollars and fifty cents shipped per pack. You contact him through Facebook. Um, trying to get his business going. I'm trying to help him out. He's a good guy, and he's a really good seller. So please check him out. Facebook.com/backslash/legacycards. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, thumbs up for some pretty awesome pickups for the price. Once again, these are pickups from the last month and a half, so they've been chilling, you know, for a while. Um, didn't buy all these at once. Don't have that kind of money, but um, yeah. Stay tuned for the other video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.